So this little video is going to demonstrate how to create holes and also how to fill the holes and remove the holes. This question came in from one of our members in the group and she was having some difficulty with accomplishing that. So what I have open on the screen is my Digitizer MBX version 5. And I also run Hatch 2 digitizing program. I do not have MBX version 5.5. But I do think that um, the function has not changed in that version because it's identical in both Hatch 2 and in MBX 5. So basically what you have to do is you need to create your object first. And I'm just, for this demonstration purpose, just going to do a very simple um, digitize a closed shape. Um, it's just going to be somewhat of a, um, I don't know, just a little square object. I'm going to enter that and I have my object on the screen. When this object has been created, you're going to find over in your left toolbar that you are going to be able to have this digitize holes function available to you. Uh, the fill holes and the remove holes, if you see what I'm looking at over here, are not available. And the reason why they're not available yet, they are grayed out, is because we don't have any holes in which to do these two functions. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so how do I create a hole or digitize a hole? I select my object. Excuse me. I'm going to select it over on the resequence bar. It is highlighted. I am now going to select digitize hole and I'm just going to use my mouse to create a couple little triangle shapes within this. Each time I do this I have to select the object once again, digitize the hole, create a hole. Okay so now I've got a couple of holes. If I want to remove or fill these holes. Let's go with fill first because it's the next in line over in the menu. Select your object. Select fill holes. It is now available. You'll see that it is not grayed out anymore. If I select it, um, it's going to ask me how do I want to fill them because it's going to ask what it's going to fill them with actually is with a new object and when once these objects are created you are going to have the opportunity to decide what kind of a fill pattern you want for these holes. So it's asking this question, what kind of an underlap do you want? Uh, right now there's nothing selected, so let's just go with one millimeter. Okay, and say okay. If you zoom in closely here, you're going to see that these objects have been created, and here they are. I'm going to turn them into a different color just so that you can see them. Okay, so that is how it filled the holes. And again, I'm just going to uh, mention that if you select these objects, you will be able to change the stitch fill properties on them. Right now, they're the same fill property that was selected for the main object, which is just a tatami fill. I could change them to a satin, and I could also adjust the stitch properties for them. Okay, so that is how you fill the holes. Now, um, I'm just going to hit my undo button, and my holes are back. This time what I want to do is I want to try to remove them completely because that was also one of the questions that our member had. Select the object and just select remove holes and they are gone and you're back to your original shape. So very simply uh, that is a quick little lesson on how you can create an object, make some holes in it, fill them up with a different kind of a fill and also to remove them. So I hope that this video has helped. Um, good luck and thanks for watching.